And Ted Madden joins us with more on that. Ted? It hasn't been easy for the Mavericks in the finals. They always seem to be playing from behind. In fact, you want to know the last time the Mavericks led a game going into the fourth quarter? May 21st, game three against Oklahoma City. That is the last time Dallas led a game after three quarters. To succeed under those circumstances, you have to be mentally tough, and this team is. Another incredible comeback by the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks' win in Game 4 was not unlike their win in Game 2, or like several wins they've had in the 2011 playoffs. Lefty layup, banks it in. Dallas has won 14 times so far in the playoffs. Half of those wins have come after they were trailing in the fourth quarter. An extra five minutes on the clock after an unbelievable comeback. We don't have the appearance of a physically bruising type team, but this is as tough a mentally tough uh, a group as I've ever had. And, you know, I, I love this team more than any team I've had. Terry the drive goes right at LeBron James. Pretty play from Terry. Mental toughness is a quality this team has had throughout the entire season. And there are a lot of different ways to define it. Mental toughness is rising to the occasion when the odds are against you. We're tuned in, we're focused on, and, and we're, we're, you know what I'm saying, we're resilient. I think mental toughness means that we all gonna stick together and play through this. You know, not giving in, you know, understanding uh, the situation. They can rally around and still execute what you want as your game plan and then make the pressure shine. The more the pressure's on, uh, the better our team has functioned all year long. So, you know, bring it on. Just knowing that there's a, a edge where other teams would break down, we step up and rise to the occasion. The one that's often not talked about is emotion control. Dr. Robert Neff is a sports psychologist and he specializes in mental training. The greatest athletes are just born to be great competitors. That's not the case and the research is so clear on it. Dr. Neff has been watching the finals and one thing he pays close attention to is how players deal with mistakes. So those guys respond well after their mistakes. In other words, they have mistake amnesia. Kind of they, they, they let it go which means they're also resilient. They can bounce back after those mistakes, and they don't tend to have these big slumps. Such a spectacular free throw shooter, one of the best ever. Dirk Nowitzki exemplifies mental toughness, welcoming and accepting the responsibility of being the team's fourth quarter scorer and doing it better than he has at any other point in the season. The bottom line is that you don't want to have expectations. I mean, not positive or negative, just none, because that means you're not in the future. That means you're in the moment taking care of business. And that's where Dirk gets. We know the Mavericks are tough enough. The rest of the finals will be about whether they're good enough. Another thing that points to their mental toughness is the fact that they can win in different ways. Twice during this playoff run, the Mavericks have won games scoring more than 120 points. And twice they've won scoring fewer than 90. Dale?